What's going on, guys? I am back. Let's see, let's turn this down. I can hear myself, and it throws me off. So. It's go time. All right, let's try and kick this out before my kids wake up. We don't want any screaming kids in the background. So, all right, so here we are. My uh, brother decided he wanted to talk crap, so I told him uh, I gave him the infamous words of "one v one v one v one," and here we are on Nuketown 2025. Which I have no idea why it came. It's a DLC on release day. That doesn't make any sense to me. They should have just put it in the game. But uh, neither here nor there. It's a cool map. I especially like the old style TV in the uh, center of town. It's like this town is like a futuristic old town. I don't I don't understand it, but still pretty cool stuff. Uh, th this game is definitely um, good. Uh, th I just played through the storyline and. I absolutely love being able to make key decisions at uh, key points in the game. Like, uh, I don't know if it's a spoiler alert or whatever, but you can decide to kill has been certain people throughout the game, whether it be friendly or foe, and it'll change up your whole storyline. There's also you can opt for side missions throughout the middle of your game, which is just... I think is amazing, and there's been some cool little artsy things that the guys have done in this game. I was running through, uh, I think it was mid-campaign, and there was a art that was like a neon blue lit up piece of art on the wall, and as your character moved his point of view, the art was like a 3D image, like like four different layers of buildings and uh, just the ground view and everything, and it was just absolutely amazing. Uh, there's a few little things like that. There's a map, I don't know the name of the map, I'll have to find out later, but there's a map where, um, as you're playing with people, if you come across on the side of this building, there's a picture or a, a, like a TV where it's a mirage of an aquarium. It's pretty sick. It's got the fish swimming through it and everything. Um, it's kind of like a billboard though where it's just uh, advertising something I think I'll have to look at it again but it's still pretty cool to see um, and I just like this the whole rendition of a futuristic uh, nuke town is it's pretty amazing I mean it is the same map as far as uh, layout goes you still have the buses in the middle all items are where they're at they're just upgraded items so pretty slick stuff they've got going on here um, but I just wanted to kick out a video for you guys, and this is the one I chose to kick out. Uh, again, I'm editing to where I'm speeding up past the boring stuff. However, it's still a pretty lengthy video, so I'm thinking that I'll release a video soon where I'm just going to cut out all of the in-between stuff. Uh, also, if you guys need, uh, if you guys want to see weapon gameplay or whatever, I can do that for you too. Still. I think my best video yet in this channel is my Dragon Off video, which I have no idea. Oh, look at that. No kill. And now he's going to be because he's better. But I still win the game, so he's obviously not better, but I do use everything to my advantage. Well, right now I am losing 3 to 8. So, But as you see, I like using my bouncing Bettys and my shock knives. Either way. I've got the uh, bouncing beddies, which I think I'm going to transition to claymores. Bouncing beddies are too easily adverted; people are used to them, so instantly you hear that little whir whirling noise where it's like, you, you know, lay down, and there, it's pretty easy to advert them. So, um, let's see. This is also the XR, or why do I keep calling it XR? This is the uh, sniper rifle of my choice, which is the UAV awaiting. There's an XPR 50, which I keep getting confused with, but I don't have that yet. So UAV inbound. But my weapon of choice is the DSR 50. I like the uh, that only normally it only takes one hit, but you'll see in this game I do get a couple of hit markers, which is bogus. The, the amount of damage this this sniper puts out, especially up to 50 caliber, man, you'd be ripped in half. There, you even get grazed by this thing. You're gonna have an open wound. You find your equipment has been destroyed. I got him with a shock charge. That's what those things are. I just had to not think about it. The shock charge, uh, throwing knives that detonate at proximity. I got him with my bouncing Betty. So, um, but yeah, I already mentioned I got Halo 4. I'm pretty sure, but. Uh, that game is a different beast in itself too. A lot of running.
running and gunning. Uh, I think I I did pretty decent at that game, but I I think I like the uh, Black Ops 2 just a little bit better because it's not so much in your face action and you don't have to be frantically running around everywhere if you don't want to. This game does work better though if you are actively running around. UAV awaiting attention. orders. Right. Getting your adrenaline rush, if you will, to kill people. So, um, oh, update by the way, I am going to still be giving away that dazzle thing. I've been in training and moving and all kinds of stuff. I got a new job, so I've been, uh, out of the game for like five months now with my one meg connection. However, now that I'm in my house, I've found out that I could pay for a 32 meg connection, and um, which is also, also the cheap route, but still, because they offer 50 megs here. But, I don't feel like I absolutely need to I've had my family running Netflix on the Xbox on the iPad while I'm streaming Netflix on my computer and playing games on Xbox Live all at the same time. And I've had no issues at all. My upload speed's at 20. It's absolutely amazing. I love it. However, it's a. Uh, they only offer where I'm at uh, cable internet. So, and this is new to me. I usually go with DSR. So, or DSL, I mean. So. That's gonna be. I, don't, I haven't had any issues with it. I mean, when we initially got it, it was dropping in and out. But um, so back to the dazzle. My old capture card, which will record your videos. I think at 480 or 480. Or I think it's 480. Anyway, plus the resolution, whatever the 400 is. Um, I want to say 420, but that doesn't sound right. So I could probably check on here. Oh, yep, I am wrong. It is not 420. Uh, it goes 480, and then 720, and then 1080. So, either way, it doesn't record in high definition at all. However, for people getting started, it's free. It's a capture card. You just plug it in through USB port on your computer. Oh, no, that's a good thing. It's not 3.0. It's nothing new. So, you just hook it up to any computer, and it will be fine to record your movies or whatever. Has the little installation CD. If not, you'll probably get on their website and download their latest version of their software. But uh, I decided that for the contest, you have to subscribe to the channel to be a contestant. And all you got to do is have your friends come on and put in a comment that you want. Uh, are they have them put your username? Uh, once you, I think I'm going to have to keep it at a minimum of. 10 votes. If you can get 10 votes or more, it's going to be whoever gets the most. So if there's a couple of people with 10 votes or more, it's going to be over who has the most. I will contact you via private message on YouTube and get your address, and I will ship this Dazzle recording device to you. And if need be, I will even help you configure it, which I haven't used it in a while, but it's pretty simple compared to the new video capture card that I've got. It's, the one that I have now is a pain in the butt. The one I'm giving you is going to connect your Xbox straight up to your capture card. Uh, there's no HDMI. It's all RCA, yellow, red, white, and pretty simple stuff. So then you just go ahead and go to your theater record. or yeah, there's, yeah, you're going to have to use a theater to record off this new capture card. You can't just record straight to it because there's a little bit of a, a lag between video and actual gameplay so but I mean still you can get your footage out there and promote it so looks like this video is about to wrap up so I can just narrate the rest of it I think I'm gonna get my last kill soon you can see that I I wasn't behind Be advised, I, was all, so I was just listening to my beautiful voice but I was losing pretty heavily and I'm still getting my butt kicked actually it's a close game but I've just been playing around the whole time anyway so, I'm just going down. Looks like someone's gonna die here. Oh, it's gonna be me. Watch. Hit markers. And now I'm stunned. Hit markers again. Good stuff. Love hit markers and not actually killing anybody. So, this is where he makes his mistake. He's gonna lay down, which makes him a stationary target and an easy headshot. So. Thanks for watching my videos, guys, and uh, stay tuned. I will get you more videos posted. Enjoy the channel.